get freaky at the Tiki. Hi, I'm Ray from Lifetime Tiki. In this video, we'll show how easy it is for the do-it-yourselfer to install Palmex thatch over bare roof trusses or plywood sheathing on structures like gazebos, she sheds, outdoor bars, and our favorite, tiki huts. The structure to which you are attaching the Palmex thatch should be sturdy and free of old thatch, shingles, and etc. The roof pitch should be at least 412 to ensure proper drainage. Trusses should be no more than 16 inches on centers. Be sure to know and follow all local codes, and remember, safety first. The Palmex thatch system is made up of thatch panels up to one meter long, C channels up to three meters long, wind clips, and fasteners. To begin, we're going to mark the trusses to show where the rows of thatch will be attached. Starting at the bottom, mark each truss at five inches, the second row at eight inches, and then every four and a half inches to the top of the peak. The first two rows are double thickness, meaning that you will slide two layers of panels into the same C-channel. That will give the lower edge of your tiki a much more fuller, finished look. Cut the C-channels to match the length of the roof being thatched. I like to use a tin snip, as it works much better than a utility knife. Prep the thatch panels by notching the corners a bit, about two inches across the flat, to ensure that the panels overlap a little bit, thus improving water resistance. Cut the panels to length, allowing some overlap at the ends of the C-channel and some overlap between the panels. Slide the panels into the C-channel. Here's a little trick I learned when thatching solo. Line up the panel, then flip it upside down, top to bottom, not right to left. Start one screw into the C-channel, making sure you don't go into the truss. Flip the panel back down, fold the C-channel forward to lock the panels into place, and drive that first screw into the joist. Install wind clips and fasteners at each of the trusses. When all have been fastened, remove the original screw and install the wind clip in that location. Remember, the first and second rows are doubled up. After that, it's all single layers until you reach the peak. Be sure to stagger the panels, like shingles, so the seams are not aligned. This will improve water resistance. If installing over a plywood substrate, I'd recommend putting down a layer of roofing paper before installing the thatch panels. Other than that, there is basically no difference to installing the thatch. On hip roofs, panels can be cut to give the corners a nice finished look. Cut a panel in thirds, angle the corners, and cut a notch in the center. Slide it under the adjoining panels to cover the corner. Attach directly with screws, no C-channel required. Install the corners with each row as you go. It's easier to do it that way rather than waiting till the end. The ridge panels are secured using the same fasteners, installed directly through the ridge cap into the joists. Now to do it yourself, -er, contact Lifetime Tiki for an installation quote. There you have the basics of installing Palmex Thatch. Remember, your goal is not perfect uniformity. A few imperfections add to the realism. Just relax and know that your Palmex Thatch roof is guaranteed for 20 years and is impervious to ice, snow, and high winds. Now sit back, pour yourself a tiki drink, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Get freaky at the tiki.